Okay, so here's the battery management system and um, as far as I've determined, uh, it's pretty well done. Um, so this is how it works. So you got um, your main board here, which is powered off your 12 volt accessory system. And then you have all these individual remotes for each one of your individual uh, lithium modules. And these can be connected in series as well. It really doesn't matter. Everything's all isolated, so they can be individual or in series. It really doesn't matter. And so this one here is set to address 0, and this one up here is set to address 1. So as you can see, that uh, this one here, which is actually a lithium iron phosphate cell, is coming back as cell 0, and that one's extremely low right now. I think it's just about to die. And cell 1 is just those standard laptop cells over here, and they're coming back as um, 3.52. So uh, then what you have is you have pack voltage in the top left here, and this is current in the bottom, bottom left here. And I think one more thing I'm going to add uh, before I call this thing officially done is an amp hour counter. So I'm just going to make it so you can toggle whether you want to see current there or just the amp hour, um, amp hour value. So this thing's got a lot of neat features. Um, considering how small it is, uh, you can go through this menu system I made here and you can adjust anything from, well, LCD contrast, I guess, is one of the main things you can adjust. So you can see that's all digitally adjustable. Because um, you'll have to change that if it's like, if you go for a drive when it's really cold out or um, pretty warm out, you'll have to adjust that to make sure the uh, you can actually see the LCD. Uh, what else is there? Uh, in the setup menu, this is where you can set up all your voltage limits and things. So you have your upper voltage limits, your lower voltage limit, your balance voltage, and not the number of cells. So that will be how many remotes you have connected up. And so one neat thing is uh, with the balance voltage, um, it's set at 3.52 right now. So what this does is it actually just reprograms all of the remotes to whatever voltage you set on here. So that'll determine when they start uh, shunting current or when they start discharging the cells. So if I remember correctly, that, that other cell, uh, these cells up here were at uh, 3.50, I think, if I remember correctly. So if I set this to uh, something below that, let's go 3.49, then... Um, when this thing's reprogramming, it should turn on the um, MOSFET here. Yeah, and there we go, and it's, so it's discharging this cell. And of course this one isn't because that one is, that voltage there is on that battery is pretty low. So if I go back here and I uh, crank this back up again to 3.52 or something, that's good enough, program. So this should there we go, and it shut off again. So it, the neat thing is that you can basically reprogram these things on the fly, and uh, yeah, they all get, get reprogrammed all at once. So and and yeah, all these settings are um, saved in Flash. So if any of your remotes get powered down and powered back up, it, all the uh, data you save on here is saved. And uh, same with everything in the main board here. If you power this thing off and power back on, uh, all your settings in here are saved. So. Uh, you don't have to reset this uh, every single time you shut it off and turn it back on. So that's about it. Um, yeah, seems like she's working great. And I think the last thing I'm going to add is that amp hour counter. And after that, I'll call it done. And uh, yeah, everything's everything's going good. The um, the batteries are supposed to show up uh, sometime this week. And once they do, then the kind of mechanical stuff will be ramping up again of mounting the batteries in the bike and uh, getting all all that stuff sorted out and uh, what else? There's one other thing. Oh yeah, um, I noticed some uh, some people have been um, uh, news people have been subscribing subscri subscribing to my channel. That's uh, really good. Um, I'm I'm really I'm really glad people are interested in this stuff. So uh, I'll keep posting stuff. And it looks like this cell just died. Yeah. You can see the remote is... Yeah, it can't even stay on now. I think it needs at least uh, 1.5 volts to operate. So let's measure this thing with the fluke. 
see if I can do this with one hand. Oh yeah, there we go. Should be able to. Yeah, so she's down at 2.1 volts, so I guess uh, once the, your cell hits about 2.1 volts, this the regulators don't work anymore. It's just I it can't boost that up to 5 to measure the cell anymore, so yeah. Oh well, the uh, cells should never go below 2.5 anyway, so if they do, then uh, you're really doing some pretty serious damage to the cells. So, okay, well, I'll keep, uh, I'll keep posting videos, and uh, there's more to come.